All right, I'm going to go over how to create your reservations page, your contact page, and your full width page. So let's dive right in and go under pages and let's add a new one and call this one reservations page and publish it. And let's go ahead and um, all, all we need to do is create a contact form and paste the short code on your page. So let's start um, now that we have our page. Let's go and open a new tab. So this is where the form is going to end up. Now let's go and go to contact forms and let's add a new form. We're going to add a new form. And up here we can click reservations. The name doesn't really make a big difference. It's just what we're going to use. So once we save it to create our, um, our form, so let's copy this. Let's edit our page and let's paste in that short code. So all we did was um, create a page and a form. And now when we view our page, you'll see your form. And this of course is the default form with contact form seven. We're gonna edit that. So the two places to edit are the from and the message body. So if you go to the theme documentation, under reservations, contact, and full width pages, we have this code for you. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to paste the first section under this form. And then we're going to paste the next bit under message body. And of course, instead of this email was from our website, you'll just put your own website. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's refresh our page. And now we have that cool form with the pop-up and everything that's working for us. And you can add in text like we did in the live preview. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the, your working form. Of course, if you can edit any of these fields, let's say instead of this date and time calendar thing, let's say instead of that, you wanted to just have it say, um, you know, date and time, you can just generate fields and play around with them and then add them there. Also for subject, you can add in your own subject. But it's super easy to create that form if you want to mimic ours or create your own. Um, super easy to build. There's documentation links here and frequently asked questions on the this contact form if you want to, um, you know, dig in really deep there. So. The next thing to go over is the contact page. So let's go ahead and go to pages and create a new page and we'll call this contact page example. And under template, you can select contact page or contact page full width. They both act exactly the same. One just has um, a sidebar and the other one doesn't. So the map's easy. To create the map, you can just use the light short codes, add in a Google map. You can adjust the height, the location, how much it's zoomed in. Let's zoom in a lot more, let's do 12. Then you'll cut that out of your content and you'll paste it under contact map shortcode. So let's go and update that and refresh our page. You've got your form at the top. Then to add in your contact form, it's just like reservations, except for one thing to note is uh, it's automatically created for you. So you can just copy the default form and then you'll want to paste it into your page. And so that's how you can create your form and your map. So um, super easy to uh, create your contact page and your reservations page. The last page to go over is full width. So let's go ahead and add a new page and call this one full width example. We can add some text, publish this, and let's view this page in a new tab. So by default, you'll have a sidebar to get rid of it. The only change is under attributes and template, you'll select full width. So if we update that, you have your full width page.